So guys, started shooting again. Um, I've been shooting. I don't have the case anymore. The um, the can to these got them in a bag. When I bought the can, it was uh, the Benjamin 14 point something grain. Uh, it's got PCP on the cover. Anyway, um, I couldn't get the can open. It actually got dented, and I didn't realize it when I bought it. <clears throat> so I ended up having to put them in here. So I've got my rifle sighted in with those. Um, but I don't ever remember how it shot with, uh, the Premier, oops, sorry, the Premier 14.3 grain. I think it's 14.3 is what these other ones are as well. Um, but these are more ball. And then I've also got some of these Barracuda Hunter Extremes. I'm wanting to try out as well so I'm actually hoping that uh, I'm hoping that I don't have to recite the rifle one sec all right so um, these things look really clean and more precision oh sorry wrong side you can see that very well. Yeah, that's kind of blurry. So, sorry about that. Um, they do have the like a hex, like cross cut out in the the head of them. So, I would suppose they would be good for hunting. So we'll see. Let me get this reloaded real fast. I'm not as avid as a shooter as I used to be. I used to do it often. I used to do a lot of reloading with, um, uh, I, I, <laughs> dare I say, real rifle. Um, but, you know, actual firearms. Um, I used to have a Remington 700 um, SPS tactical is what I started building it on. You know, everybody wanted, you know, I like black rifles if it's not obvious, um, but, the SPS Tactical, it, it came with like a Hogue rubber grip uh, stock, and um, I think I had the 20 inch bull barrel, um, and I would, man, I would, that thing would stretch out pretty, pretty good, um, so it was a fun rifle to shoot, and these pellets look, they look more precise in, in uh, their make than, uh, those Benjamins, honestly. All right. Here we go. You're flashing Wes. You're only shooting 25 yards. Why is it so hard? <laughs> One, I'm blind. And two, it's not the best scope that I have here. It's a center point. Yeah, no cheap center point scope. I brought this thing. I probably had this thing for like 10 years, however long center point's been out. Um, I bought this for another rifle way back, a 22 rifle, way, way back. Um, and the thing about this scope is when you zoom it all the way in, like you zoom it all the way out, I think it's, uh, I'm trying to remember. 16, yeah, it's a 16. It is a four by 16 by, I think that's a 40. I couldn't tell you, honestly, I've had it so long. Um, but it does appear to hold really true on this rifle. So ever since I bought the rifle, I put it on there just as a, because it's what I had and I was gonna upgrade. 
but it's actually, it's been pretty good. Um, but the more my eyes go, the harder it is for me to um, focus in. It's got a weird haziness to it when you zoom it all the way in. And I just can't seem to find the perfect combination. Here we go. Let's take a look. Uh, so this is um, 25 yards. It's shooting slightly lower than the Benjamins. Um, and that's a five shot group. I think it's pretty respectable, to be honest. Um, these are half inch, um, half inch sections. So that's a, about a half inch. That's, Less than a half inch group, five shot grouping, not too shabby. So, um, pretty respectable group, uh, I think, for pellet rifles. So full disclaimer, um, I told you earlier, so I used to shoot rifles, um, high powered rifles from, um, honestly, from 100 to up to 300 yards-ish. Um, well, technically 250 where we were, but there was a little past. I used to shoot steel at 250 yards pretty consistently. Um, six inch rounds, four inch and six inch circles at 250 yards. That was, you know, that was pretty good. It was the only range we had back then at the time. But um, anyway, so air rifles, it's quieter. Um, it's just a, uh, like I'm here in my backyard shooting 25 yards. Um, I've got this platform, this Benjamin Armada, that is very similar to, um, I don't know if you've gotten, if you, if you're into shooting enough, um, there's a rifle called the, the Tika, uh, Tika, Tika, T-I-K-K-A, I think that's how you spell it, and, um, <laughs> ooh, sorry, allergies, but, uh, it's called the TAC something, but, uh, it's a, like a six point, uh, six five Creedmoor, or a 308 platform that looks much like this, um, very much like this actually, when you pull it up on their website. Um, modular platform, um, the only difference is it's magazine fed and this one, you know, doesn't, it doesn't have a magazine, right? It's got a little rotary magazine at the top. Um, this one's bolt action, you know, it's, it's made to look and feel the same way. So I've got, I've got a similar platform, great ergonomic platform, I just recently, um, added the, uh, the buttstock. Oops, sorry. Just recently added the buttstock and the grip. Um, boy, I suck at this. <laughs> sorry. So, yeah. Uh, Luth AR, L-U-T-H-A-R. I got another video where I just showed how I put it on. Um, but, you know, it just adds a, another level of, of control. Like, it's a good... I don't know how to, how to explain it. I have small hands, but at the same time, an AR style grip usually just doesn't, um, doesn't feel good to me. It's too skinny. Um, my AR, I actually have this on my AR too. Not this, but the grip I have on my AR platform. Um, and it feels great. It, it's when I pick it up, it's the only, the only complaint I have with it is it's not rubberized. So, um, so anyway, all that being said, this, you know, backyard plinking like this gives me, uh, I don't know, it's very therapeutic and relaxing, but I'll talk about that more later. But anyway, respectable group, H&N Barracuda Hunter Extreme. These are 18.52 um, grain, 18 grain, and I'm covering up the camera like an idiot. So there they are. Um, at 25 yards, they seem to be shooting, I don't know, you saw it, what, half inch? Uh, no, not even a half inch. 
the grouping. I was shooting out the half inch hole uh, before with the um, the Benjamin PCP 14 grains. So I don't know, three eighths of an inch ish drop at 25. Uh, but I definitely can hear there's a brick. There's a brick inside that box that I'm shooting at. I can hear the thud, the hit. These are definitely holding a lot more energy um, down range. So I can't wait to put this on something. I wish I had tried these when I was uh, doing my squirrel hunting before we moved here. Um, I do plan on doing some squirrel hunting or rabbit hunting before, uh, you know, soon. I hope so, anyway. I gotta find a place. So if you're from Texas and you watch my videos, um, definitely uh, shoot me some places to go because I, I don't know, um, some places that will allow me to hunt with this. I, I looked at a few places close and they all said it was like shotgun only type places, which doesn't make sense. I mean, this is safer than a shotgun um, all day long. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. That's H&M Barracuda Hunter Extreme. Thanks for listening to me ramble. Have a good day.